Hello Internet world and welcome to a little bit of a different video on the Geek Noise channel. This is my Christmas tech haul for 2019. Now these are some gifts I got for Christmas. One of them admittedly I purchased for myself and it's a little bit different because normally my friends and family steer clear of buying me pieces of technology or electronics or gadgets for Christmas because I handle them day in, day out. I review tech products, as you know, on the Geek Noise channel, and I think in their thought process is best not buy that because David's probably reviewed it at some stage. Uh, but this year was a little bit different. I actually got a couple of really cool gifts that I just wanted to share with you. Three of them I've left wrapped here, and the other one's just sitting down on my desk. And I think we're gonna start with the one I've already been using. And in fact, I couldn't wait to, to test this out. This is a Logitech G Pro X mechanical keyboard. I've got it connected to my Mac Pro. There is software on the Mac. It's not fantastic, the software, but the keyboard is actually extremely good. You can see this lighting pattern on here at the moment. You can, of course, change that. You can change it to just have sort of static backlighting. It's just a great keyboard, it really is. It's mechanical switches inside. This is the Cherry MX Blue switches, so it's nice and clicky. As you can hear, uh, it's got some feet on the back with two different angles of adjustment, so we can have it sort of a quite a nice angle for typing on. And it is just a superbly tactile keyboard. Really love it, and I couldn't be more grateful. This was a fantastic gift I received at Christmas, and I was really surprised. It's absolutely superb. Love it. Now, the other gift I got is sort of related to this, and it was a real curveball. I really didn't expect this. I'm going to pop this box out of the way and show you this one last. This is what I purchased for myself. Now, I've got three more still wrapped up, but these are PBT uh, keycap upgrade sets from Razer. And even though they're a different manufacturer, they will still work with the Logitech keyboard. Now this particular one is in a quartz pink color. And then I've got three more here, three more identical sets. Now I haven't unwrapped these yet, so let's do this on camera and I'll share it with you. Now this one, oh, so this one is mercury white. I will give you a look inside one of the boxes very shortly, but we've got a mercury right white keycap set. Wow, what's inside? So it's a full keycap set it looks like 120 keycaps in total and a keycap puller. They're double shot molding with ultra thin font. Uh, fits most mechanical and optical keyboards. Superior PBT material. So that sounds really good. So I've got a, a mercury white set just there. And another mercury white set. So two sets of white. Very, very cool. Another set of white just there. Let's pop these over the back. And what's this one here? So I've got another set here. Now these are really cool because I'm going to customize this uh, Logitech keyboard. I've also got another keyboard I'm going to replace the keycap set on as well. Oh, and this is the Razer Green. So this is sort of in the, the Razer Green color. Very, very cool. Let's take a look inside. Now this video is going to be a little bit different because normally I heavily edit these and you don't get to see what I'm doing when I'm trying to open boxes, but this one's opened fairly easily. Let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, nicely presented. Wow, here we go. So inside here, we've got trays. There is some information. There is also, oh wow, you get some keyboard stabilizers as well. So I assume this is for things like the space bar. I'm sort of new to this. But I assume they're stabiliser sets for the for the space bar. And then these are in their individual little packs. This is the Razer green colour. How cool is that? Look at that. Are they shine through as well? I'm not sure they are. Well, they might be. They might be shine through so that you can actually see the backlighting through them. Very, very cool. And you, of course, get this one. So the full keyboard set. Uh, no Mac OS keycaps, of course. Uh, but I will search for those and no doubt do some further upgrades. And then this is like the space bar, shift, enter, etc. Very, very cool. Absolutely love it. Really love it. Now, I think I got this 
because I've been expressing an interest in mechanical keyboards lately. And um, this is the, the product I purchased for myself. Uh, this is a mash drop collaboration with OLKB. It's a prionic mechanical keyboard. So it's a tiny mechanical keyboard, very, very different in its layout. And let's have a look inside here. Now this is a kit, so this comes in kit form. So inside here, I went for a purple color. So we've got a purple color sort of um, casing for the keyboard in metal, USB-C as well, USB-C cutout on the back there. Very, very cool. And I'll show you this obviously on the channel when I've built it. You also get some instructions and troubleshooting guide. And then down further in the box, so we'll open up this section just here. There we go. Oh, you get all of the bits and pieces that you need. So we have got some tools for assembling the keyboard. We've also got a nice braided USB-C cable. We've got some stabilizers and little rubberized feet. We've got all of the keycaps in their colors. Very, very nice. This looks really cool. Very, very nice indeed. And then last but not least, in the bottom of the box, we have got, oh, two items, almost missed that. We've got like the top plate, which again is metal. And this is gonna be the actual board to make the keyboard. Now these are hot swap switches. I haven't got the switches yet. I'm gonna be buying them. If you've got any suggestions for what type of switches I should go for and where I should buy them from in the UK, please do leave that down in the comments section below. Uh, but they're hot swaps, so no soldiering on this one, and this is what the board looks like to make the keyboard. Now, when I've built this, I will, of course, share it on the channel, uh, but I, for now, I think my favorite keyboard, of course, because it is working and I can actually use this, is, of course, the Logitech uh, G Pro X. Absolutely love this, love how it feels to type on. Can't wait to share with you how things look when I've switched things around with these different keycap sets. And also I'll share with you that prionic keyboard once I've built it as well. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, it was something a little bit different. Uh, really interested in mechanical keyboards. They're so much nicer to type on than the chiclet style keys. Really loving it. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Uh, you'll probably be watching this in 2020. So. Happy New Year to you as well. Have a fantastic year ahead. And if you do one thing for me at the end of this video, please do subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very, very soon.